Shalom, greetings in the name of the Lord Yeshua. The Lord is good. His mercies endures forever. So I'm supposed to continue the other parts of this. You know, letting us learn some basic difference between words that in this time that the mindset of Lucifer was broken. And over the 2,000 years of this timeline that belongs to body flesh, going up to the mind of Lucifer, <clears throat> you know, that was shattered because he won't keep to command. And yes, there are many who think, it doesn't matter, we are many of us still wear trousers as women. They wouldn't accept that God says, let us not be in clothing that pertains to man if other clothing pertains to man if not where the man who there is called trouser because you and i know even if you look good in front at the back many images of women is just so negative when you put on this trouser this leggings it shows the shape you say you are covered, but you have shaped yourself. It's like making an image of yourself with your cloth. Let's repent. You know, I can mean to talk about, you know, the differences between words. When the mindset of the people was shattered, that made some to be in trouble and not think God will judge them because they think they are very many. Forgetting Exodus 23, 2, that says, don't follow the crowd to do evil, though. First, make sure that whoever you are following are doing good. Because God is going to yet save multitudes of those who will wash their garments again, being shown mercy. They worship in the precious blood of Yeshua. Not in the blood of goats, berries, or, you know, blood of um, chicken. There's something hanging to my glasses there. I have to remove it. It must be the precious blood of Yeshua. In Revelation chapter 7, uncountable will come to the Lamb of God. A few days ago, I was saying, Yes! We, the big woman in stature, whom heaven loves, the elephants. Of Africa, the big woman. Yes, heaven has enlarged himself and herself. There was a time that Isaiah was recording that hell is enlarged, you know, hell has enlarged itself, being the super. People are just dropping to hell, following the multitude to do evil. So I'm supposed to continue on this, but I'll give you a preview of a video that is already there. But I'll preview that video after my, you know, anniversary on the third because I'm already seeing some positive signs just by the last video I put there. So let's watch and see. What the Lord will yet do to his grace and to anyone. When it came to a point that me, if not that I'm married and I understand my husband, word of God in First Peter 3, 7 says, women should be understood as wives. Husband, understand your wife. Deal with your wife with understanding. If you marry a Mary, not that you have married a Mary, and be thankful to God. Let him teach you how to, you know, unite with a Mary. If you marry a matter, then you know that you are going to hear and there, hear and there. There is the here is the one whom the Lord came to our house. Did you recognize? He's there planning something to cook, elaborate cooking. They don't know how to separate it. Ah, no, no, no. Let me bring those, you know, 
very nicely made mistral and a bottle of good non-alcoholic wine for my lord as I and my sister may listen at the feet of him to learn more secrets about the kingdom of heaven. She's there cooking away. And while she cook, 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 she can't get herself out. She's annoyed that Mary is not joining her. So if you are married to a matter, you want to have to come more, more towards the living room and to be with Mary, to be like Mary. Because if she gets out of that city, she will be going to her friend's house who will tell her how to hate her sister more, how to do this because she was already accusing the Lord. Can't you tell Mary to come and join me? Commander, talking to her Lord because the Lord manifests in likeness, but he was spirit man. You am um, woman flesh, Mary. But Mary did not open to her flesh. She was there as woman, as woman, I mean, not woman, as woman, she was linking up to the Holy Spirit. But Martha was body flesh, body flesh, woman flesh. They are very easy to be influenced by friends to start behaving like Jezebel. Jezebel is the one that dwells more in the flesh. Ah, she's looking for money to enlarge her breast, not thinking of the consequences of infection, of poison, of so many things that could go wrong that they are hiding from you. That's why some of these ones who have too much uh, failures, they don't like people announcing their failures. So that you think, ah, they seem to have um, a high percentage of a uh, vaccine injection, silicone implants, bone implants. It's a lie. Most of them suffer one way or the other. And they are not going to heaven or if you study what the word of God says about it. Glorify the Lord in your body. He said that he said the Lord does not look at body. So now looks at body. The very body was sending his apostles, you know, that they should present holy before him. And not only the body, their mind should be renewed with God's word. Not to the latest uh which one again are they wearing? Is it bow straight or bow crooked here? Finish one. You have the most powerful the most beautiful hair that glows in the spirit realm. Yes, go and get the hair of the fallen ones like goat hair. You put it. And I say, ah, you bring the sacrifice of praise <laughs> into the house of the Lord. That's God delusion. King David, whom God loved was transferring the Ark of the Covenant to the city of David to a very fine place, well placed, new place for the Ark of the Covenant, which is a good idea. God wants us to think of him before we won't start thinking of ourselves and so it will go well with us more. But in the preparation, he forgot who were to even carry the Ark of the Covenant, how special the Ark of the Covenant was. Like a heart that is filled with the word of God. Show me a heart that is filled with the word of God. And angels will follow the heart. So, long story short, he forgot how they were to carry the Ark of the Covenant. King David meant good. He loved the Lord. He was often described as a man after the heart of God. Read Psalm 119. If you can in your spirit. Just to even read what he was God fully saying from his heart. The law of the Lord is perfect. Enriching the soul. The law of the Lord. The word of the Lord. The commands of the Lord. He was just appreciating all that comes from the mouth of the Lord. So you and I. Matthew 4, 4, Luke 4, 4. We've been told that you and I shall not live by bread alone, 
but all the words and commands of God. Now the problem is that some people want their own command to be as though this is the command of God though. If it's a good word from the scriptures already, then if you do it, you are blessed. Like if somebody says, let's go and evangelize though, I heard it that God will bless those who evangelize today. Whether you do it today or yesterday or tomorrow, you will still be blessed. So if you follow such people just repeating the word of God, then you will still be blessed. That's why the Lord told you that when these are the three hypocrites, that God put war upon in Matthew 23, when they read to you the commands of God as they pretend to be like from the tribe of Levites, and they are not from the tribe of Levites, they are belong to Moses, Aaron, line of stuff. They are from the tribe of Dan, but the Ephraim in them at that time would not allow them you know, to admit that they are Dan. So they sit in the seat of <coughs> Moses, pretending to read the commands just like Moses still did to remind the children of Israel. To keep the commands of God. So the Lord said in Matthew 23, if they read the commands of God, this thing no, you can't reject the commands of God. That does not mean that they are working for God. Though. They are just trying to do something that is like what the Levi Moses did so that you will be like, initially you will be like, are they the same? Remember one time the anointing of God was upon Saul, the first king of Israel, since they were asking for a king by force, looking unto the Gentile nation. So when God allowed them finally to have a king, Prophet Samuel anointed Saul. And Saul, to show the peace of God came upon him through the anointing, he went back home prophesying. And some were saying, Is Saul among the prophets? Is Saul among the prophets? You know, we were wondering. The same way they were wondering, perhaps, as God anointed, you know, the lining of the Levites. But Eli was not anointed again. No. The promises were withdrawn from him. But Eli was supposed to be part of Levi before he disqualified himself. Why? Maybe somebody needed to hear this diversion. Because Eli did not want to correct his children. So I'm talking here and here. I'll release the video. But uh, I thought after making that video, I was led to do something. Write all what is needed. And go and put it on the screen. Usually, you may throw it away or something. Because I've been doing so much this end time, this last six, seven, if not more months. So, we are not just talking something that happened like this. I will try to update him what I'm doing, you know, without calling anyone's name. You all know that I have a wonderful, beautiful granddaughter. Are we not supposed to care for her? To go apart? My son is doing so much. He's working and caring for her, yes. She has even been coming up with uh, good health shape. Before it was so lean, I was very concerned for him. Talk to my husband. This is what we should do. This daughter is our granddaughter. Is our child. Let's care for her as one of us, such that my son can focus on his future. Is that too much to ask? I went to the house alone of the other grandma. I've done many things alone. Even the others who say, Don't bother, mom, don't bother, don't bother. I don't want to be a hypocrite. You care for other people, you don't care for your own. It's enough that sometimes I cry within my heart that two years I missed from when she was in womb to death. But after suggesting that, it was like the money I asked him if he can add this to what you are going to be giving or you are already giving. That would be nice to go every month to take care of our granddaughter the mom. If she's been taken care of before we knew about her. Before I knew about her, I thought she was
Everyone on one of us has to. Every one of us has to. Be free to know everything that is going on. And some truth that some people don't understand that. Yes, you can be working for God. But you don't know all about yourself. Yes. Some people think, ah, if he's a woman of God, nobody has said that to me. Or some people may think, why did God give her him? That sometimes that my children come home and I start dreaming about them more. But when they are far apart, I get also confused. But I ask them, you know, you can just ask, how are you fine? Are you sure? Yes. Because youth, they want to handle their troubles by themselves, which is good. But there are some that you take it to your parents to pray for you. Take it to the Lord also individually to pray for. So I don't even know what, what I'm doing here. I'm supposed to be talking about differences that I want to talk about so that when I'm talking more, some people will understand. Different between why we should be the temple of God. If God says all the children of Israel should have a temple house, that means you have a four-layer house. Spirit, spirit, soul, you know, and then soul, soul, body. It's ever lay out, it should be four because the Lord can flush the flesh that was once there, moving the flesh away. And they said, anyone that is the temple of God should have four layers of homes with good treasures there. And you, that you are a same church member, you are only one layer, bungalow, but they separate one place for you to say you want to go and use as a closet. It's still good in terms of ignorance. That's where we were. And God still taught us. But he didn't come into the churches. He stood at the door. Behold, I stand at the door. I was just wondering at the sister's um, revelation that is over six years. One sister, as she tells the spirit, one sister was saying, I'm concerned with the word of God of God. You know? That she saw many of these mega illuminati going into a building it was very dark but there's no door there's no window windows belong to heaven door is a sign also of the son of the living god open the windows of heaven and pour showers of blessings and then when you talk of I'm the way, anyone that comes through the door, you know, comes into the right path. But those who want to, you know, jump, think they can get to heaven without coming through the Son of the Living God. And the way and the door, they are the same. Yes, too. You can say that I'm just on the way or I'm the door. But they are linked. The Holy Spirit and the Word of God. So, they having that meeting and not putting door. It's because if they were to put door, the Lord of Glory has every right to be where there is just nothing. Right? Except the filthy place of hell that like he would rather not go. There is difference between temple and church, between humanity and mankind. There's difference between Bible and scriptures. There's difference between kids and children. They are not the same. Call your children children if you are not sure. If you are really a spiritual woman of God, you call them wonder. Even when one of my wonders fell, it was later. Thank God, the Phone I've retained now, the low volume phone, phone has uh, some of the videos that has to do with me supplicating for my son. I might post it again. Then, wow! <laughs> oh, oh. 
so understanding of him. That time, and the time I was in the tent, I was like walking into territories I didn't understand what was happening. And if you look back, where my hand is even pointing, there's a plaque there. It's titled The Food Things. It was like I was having the footprint experience. There is a narration there in that flash about somebody walking through life and by the river shore. And during the difficult time, how it was explained to him. During the difficult time, he saw not just his feet walking. He saw his feet and the other heavenly father's feet. He showed that he was there. And as he went further and further, things got out of he didn't understand again. Oh, you channel me here. The only you know one of the that stood out was the Lord telling me, I am delayed. As in, they've delayed me what happened to the foolish and wise virgin. The bridegroom is delayed. But the Lord said, I am delayed as if I'm the one that was late. It was Judah that was late. You know, because the spirit, the soul was in the body of Judah. The one that was late. And rose after three days. So my own Judah, my children are for signs and wonders, even to me as Israel, the woman, because I've been called Israel and I believe it. I went to see my son. He was the only one still sleeping. Because I knew when I was called up, it was very late April. Very late April, last few days of April. And they had come around. Why? Because yeah, that that day was in the very first week of May. So I remember. So when I heard I'm delayed, so I'm to tell people watching me that let's watch you because I was encouraging people. Let's watch you. The Lord knows those who are obeying his commands and how to seal us for the day of transformation. Because we are not together as a nation now. So we may not be all that as people are guarding the same place. So when I came downstairs and delayed, I saw the person still sleeping out of all, every one of us was my son Judah Faith. I'll call him Faith. I'll call him Judah, but he will praise the Lord. To me, he's my, you know, symbol of if the Lord is talking to me as the Lion of Judah. Ah, uh, the Lord uses of oh, reasons that have been more attentive. Yes, Reuben is the spirit body of my father. My son is the soul body of my Lord. If I tell you about my son that fell, because there's a place the male took the place of the female, it was me who fell. And I will have been giving birth to him. As a woman, I will have been a young woman of 20, giving birth to him and trying to hide him. So he was playing as a program. You see this mindset of um, body flesh, just body flesh after Calvary. That's why God does not want us in different places. You say you are working in betting, in gambling, in uh, smoking places, places that are not for God. The day, you know, more of the mindset of Lucifer is landing, they land on you. Some just say they are homosexual, just like that. 
you are married, uh, how can a married person become more better? So the Lord is faithful. Yes. Yesterday, was it yesterday? I think it's yesterday. At most, day before yesterday, because it's already night. I just woke up from a good sleep, good prayer. And I just thought, as it comes to the point that even when you keep quiet, keep quiet, then as I declutter this house, put some things right, you know, as it comes to the point that um, 5 kg rice is being hid under. <laughs> I'm not bad by my husband. Instead of buying the fish that we all enjoy that will fry, that will scale, you go and buy titles. It's just like, as a pastor, you may not understand, but based on one Peter 3 film, because I can a pastor not even understand holiness. It's my point. Thank you for encouraging me. I'm a Mary, but you go and bring title. I don't even like the smell of title to him. He not say smell because it's um, unclean food. No matter how I say it, some people are going by their senses of body flesh. Body flesh is this way that the Lord will not walk in. He walk up to spirit soul, soul body, and cover the apple. Body flesh. Are the unclean ones that's where it's equal and fell. So, if body flesh is eating body flesh fish, ah, it's like what does she not like in this? We were eating it one way or the other. The time of ignorance, Christ has forgiven us and shown mercy and overlooked at some Peter. So, I said to the extent that I said. I've used my money to do many things in the house, so this is what is remaining. Where I'm cooking, why should I bring that out? Because I've contacted and said I don't want to come out so I didn't be there. But she enjoy just sharing my family life. We're in the last days anyway. You see all the prank family people exposing themselves even more worse because this one, many of them are not even beloved. Also, I she know that uh, people are so deluded in the church. To an extent, that they will not believe the story she's going through. That this pastor and you, the singer that walking, you do all your religious and well, ah, yes, my yes, sir. Yeah. They are living like demons in the house. That's why she knows. So I thank God for the boldness of the Holy Spirit. So I said, he has come to hiding. It's really woman that can. I even if I want to hide food to be bags of 10 kg, it will be more than one. So you buy rice, now you buy tea. It's not that we're only two. You are just doing that. I'm going to cook your food on one burner. Four, three. I've even tried to change the burner. So that I'll give him the position to taste the dozen. The anointing is that one of my closest friends thinks I'm getting so much for someone who earns between seven and ten thousand a month. And I told her, be kept quiet. I said it doesn't give me more than five hundred pounds. And from this money, it's not even for me. If you were married to Jesse there who buys this, this food to be fried with him all the time. Now God gave him Mary holiness. He's still buying titles, buying food. I want me to just run out of the house. And the one I can eat, which is the bag of rice. Rice has finished in the container. You bought it, you feed it under the bed. I say, when are we cross? I'm tired because people just assume. Ah, she's been paid 2,000, 3,000. For where? 
but how is she gonna work out for my book? The riches of this poem is gonna end up for me. I'll round it off here. It's supposed to tell her for her. God bless you. She listen. She Dependable, dependable God. It doesn't matter what comes my way, you are still God. Intentional, intentional God. Everything is working out for my good. Dependable, dependable God. It doesn't matter what comes my way, you are still God. Yeah. Intentional, intentional God. Everything is working out for my good. Oh, uh.